probably no event really more solidified uh, our our strong bilateral relationship with Algeria than Algeria's efforts uh, regarding the U.S. hostages being held in Tehran in uh, 1979, 1980. Uh, in just four days, in fact, we will celebrate the 30th, 37th anniversary of the accord signed in Algiers that led to the release of the hostages. And um, obviously, the, uh, the American people to this day, the American government, remain very, very profoundly grateful to Algeria for its mediation efforts uh, that freed our diplomats. Uh, then uh, Deputy Secretary uh, of State um, Warren Christopher wrote later, or actually he was uh, speaking to the House Foreign Affairs Committee uh, later about the events, and he said very directly, I have no doubt that without Algeria's participation, the hostages would not have emerged from their chasm of fear. And I think it's, I should as well um, really note the important contribution that Retta Malik, uh, who passed away this past summer, made uh, to the release of our hostages. I spent some time this past weekend with the Malik family um, just to express my condolences on the passing of uh, their, their mother just to less than two weeks ago. Um, uh, she, as well, was a superb representative of uh, Algeria in the United States, uh, where she served with her husband and uh, really was uh, up until her death, a great friend of the United States. 